how to create a free nft on wearable hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can create a free nft on wearable so having said that let's just jump into the video so over here as you can see i'm on the wearable website and this is how it looks like and over here you can go ahead and start create mint and sell your nfts very very easily it's just like open seas but I think that it's a little bit better than OpenSea's just because that the overall look and feel of this website, of this marketplace is just so good. It's it's much, much better and it's much, much more smoother as well. A lot of creators, a lot of, you know, famous creators, good creators are on Wearable as well. So you don't have to worry about that and think that you're on a secondary website. But no, Wearable is quite the opposite. It's really, really good. So let's go ahead and create an nft so first things first let's go ahead and create an account and to create an account all you have to do is click on sign in and just simply click on sign in and it's going to take you over here to this part of the website where you can just quickly sign in onto the wearable website using uh, a bunch of different ways so you have metamask if Taurus, you have mobile wallet if you click on show more you will have more wallets as well over here you have your cryptocurrencies that you can use with each different wallet so if you wanted to use polygon you can use metamask if you wanted to reuse ethereum you could use all these different ones but if you wanted to use flow you can only use blockoto or if you wanted to use tezo then you will only use these two so i'm going to use polygon and i'm going to click on sign in with my metamask and boom there you go I've already signed in with my MetaMask because I was already logged in. I already have it over here. As you can see, if I click on the plugin right here, there you go. So this is how it looks like. So this was my account. So I already have it. But if you don't have it, what it will do is it will take you over to their website and make you download the software. All right. Download MetaMask. Then you can create an account and then you will be in the exact same position that I am. So it's really simple. You don't have to worry about anything. And once you have created an account, you've linked your MetaMask wallet or any other cryptocurrency wallet, then just simply click on create button over here at the top right corner. And over here, you have to choose the blockchain. Whereas on other websites, you choose the blockchain at the end, but here you choose the blockchain and for the first time. So let's go ahead and choose Polygon because I don't want to pay for any NFT because we're trying to create free NFT. So we need to choose Polygon. And once you've done that, just simply click on connect wallet. It's going to send a choose MetaMask and it's going to send a transaction to the wallet, which you can apply. So let's go ahead and click on switch networks and boom, here we go. So now you have to choose the type of NFT you're trying to upload. So if it's multiple, then you're going to have to create a collection. But if it's just single, you can go ahead and click on single to create a single NFT. It's really easy. You don't have to worry about that. So as you can see at the top, our wallet is connected and it is Polygon. So don't worry about it. And then you just simply have to choose the file that you want to use. So you have a PNG, GIF, WEBS, MP4 and MP3. So I'm going to choose the file and I want to choose this one right here and I'm going to click on open. Uh, it's one I created recently and I really, really like it for some reason. I don't know. It just feels good. Uh, it's like a Darth Vader with changing background. It's really nice. And then you will choose to put it on the marketplace and choose what type of marketplace you wanted to choose it. So you have fixed price, you have open for bids and you have timed auction, but it, it's coming soon. It's not available on the Polygon network, so you can choose whatever you want. So I'm going to choose bid. If you click on bid, then you won't have to set any price. The highest price will be the one that buys this NFT and then they will get it and you will get the price that they bid. And if you create a fixed price, then you just simply have to enter in the price that you want. So we have Polygon Ethereum, then you have Attic as well. And you over here, just simply enter in your fee that you want. So, so I'm just going to use 0 0.005 you know ethereum and then only 2.5 percent service fee is going to be cut so what that is is basically uh when the your nft is sold then variable is going to take like 2.5 percent of the transaction as their own like a service fee so don't have to worry about that anything else you don't have to worry about it because everything else is good and next thing what we can do is we can choose the collection as i said if you have a collection you can go ahead and choose it but if not don't worry about it and then you have unlock one purchase unlockable content features on polygon soon so right now it's not available but we don't need it anyway because we don't have a lot of content so we're just gonna go ahead and continue and now we have the main option over here we have the name the description and the royalty so in name i'm just gonna call it colorful darth vader and in this description i will also write like it's darth vader with changing background so that's my description then you have royalties now if you don't know what royalty is it's basically when let's just assume that you've 
put your NFT online and someone buys it, right? Buy it for the price you set and now it's theirs. Now, what happens if someone, they bump up the price or they try to sell it to someone else? Then if they sell that NFT to someone else, you will get that percentage of royalty to you as a commission. So you can choose whichever one you want it, as long as it's somewhere between 0% to 50%, all right? You can choose whichever one you want. So I'm just simply gonna write 20% and boom, there you go. After that, you have your advanced settings if you wanna have like properties, basically like if you are uploading a collection and in that collection, a few of them were like, let's say rare, then you can add them over here. Like you can add like the uh, rarity of that, like the color, what makes it rare. So you can be like, hey, it has a blue background while the other have like a, pretty bland black or white background or it's wearing a hat or it's having a cigarette in its mouth you know anything that makes it special so you can go ahead and add them over there if you want but since we aren't creating any collection so we're just simply gonna upload this one for that just take a look at everything and see if everything looks good then just simply click on create item and it's gonna load for a couple of seconds and then it's gonna mint that. Right now it's uploading, after that it's gonna be mint. So it's gonna send a transaction to create your NFT. Then you're gonna have to approve that transaction per collection and then sign the message at the end. So right now the wallet is undefined for some reason. I don't know why there's something wrong with my wallet, but usually it would work, but I don't know why it's not working right now. But as you can see, as I just told you, it's very simple. All you have to do is just approve the transaction and because we're using the polygon you know blockchain we won't have to pay any gas fees whatsoever it's really really simple it's really really easy so that is how you basically create a free nft on rareable so uh, let me just go ahead and fix this problem real quick uh for some reason it's not working if i choose that continue right maybe like if i change the matic maybe then it will work so i'm gonna be like seven like ten like 12 there we go let's create now and let's see over here it's uploading the nft it's still minting still approving no it didn't go through why did it not go through man and i'm changing my wallets to see if it works so i'm gonna go ahead and click on link wallet right so I'll click on sign let's hope this works i think it's because the polygon network is still uh you know not the best one it's still in its beta form so let's go ahead and see so if i click on link locked go over here if i click now that wallet is connected now we just do the exact same process all over again all right so we want a fixed price this one we'll just go with maybe five and then just add in the name i'm going to call it darth colorful darth over here and then the royalties is, are going to be the exact same 10 percent royalties good everything looks good let's go ahead and click on continue and see if this works so it's going to upload the nft it's going to send a transaction to our wallet to create the nft yeah that looks good it's sending the transaction let's go ahead and approve it it's, it's going to be coming right now there we go so let's click on approve there we go and now we just put our nft on for sale for free so wait for a couple of seconds and once it's done we should be good to go so i think this network is also free the flow network is also free so there we go now we're on the final step putting on the sale yes approve all right fee it's free there you go i didn't have to pay any free whatsoever so which is pretty nice uh usually polygon was the first blockchain where you didn't have to pay for any fee whatsoever but now I see that slowly and, and slowly other blockchains are also coming in to this free thing, which is pretty nice because no one wants to pay gas fees as well. So there you go. As you can see, your Darth NFT is successfully created. This is going to be the transaction hash over here. And that's it. And then you can go ahead and promote your NFT as well on Twitter, on Facebook, Telegram, email, or copy the link and share it on social media or whatever. So that's how you basically create a free NFT on Bearable. Now, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment sections down below and I'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible. So having said that, if you guys enjoyed this video, then be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications. And having said that, I will catch you guys in the next video. And until then, take care and goodbye.